where would you say, just as a, as a little question, if, if I said to you, uh, is Lee Ron, would you say he was an A-list star? No. Would you say that he was a Z-list star? Probably a bit further up than Z. A bit further up than Z. It's an interesting system, isn't it? The A and Z list and so on. People use it all the time, but they only use it really to mean two things. In my experience, A list is a compliment, and anything from B down is an insult. <laughs> which means that really, we've got one level of superstar and 25 degrees of shit, which is a very <laughs> odd... It's a very odd way to talk about other people, if you ask me. But people, if I said to you, oh yeah, here comes another series of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, I wonder what bunch of B-listers they've got on this year, that sounds right, isn't it? Because a B is an insult. That's how, that's how it's always used. Here's an example, They're talking about one of those reality shows. Here's the lineup of B-list celebrities and athletes set to compete on the new Dancing with the Stars, says Business Insider. Here's another one. C-list celebs you might have a chance with, yeah. <laughs> celebrities so lowly that you, a normal person, might possibly be able to have sex with them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for a laugh, I thought it'd be interesting, I sent a friend of mine out with a camera and a microphone to see if you could find someone who used the middle of the alphabet. We teased it all up by giving them obvious A-listers, things like this. The Queen's probably like A. I'd give her an A. A-list, yeah, she definitely would be. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Queen, yeah, definitely A, yeah, yeah, the Queen. Tom Cruise? A. You'd have to be an A-lister, wouldn't he? A-list, yeah. Yeah, definitely an A. See, and then the idea was to just keep giving new names and eventually I thought somebody's going to be forced to accept that there has to be something between D and Z that you can actually use. But most people wouldn't do it. Most people would go, if they liked them and they were a superstar, they'd say A. If they thought they liked them and they were British, they'd say B. And if they didn't like them, they'd say Z or D. And there was very little in between. And then eventually, eventually, we found one person. One person who really had 26 levels of thought... <laughs> about celebrity. It's a remarkable thing. Just watch this. Ashton Kutcher. K. <laughs> How does she do that? How does she wrinkle her nose and decide that Ashton Kutcher is a K? And I want to be very clear here, the question was not what letter of the alphabet does his surname begin with? <laughs> it wasn't can you put these celebrities in alphabetical order based on surname. It was just here's a celebrity, what list are they on? Ashton Kutcher K. It's weird, I, would, I wouldn't have been able to work that out. And then, this is even weirder. Demi Moore. P. <laughs> How can there be that much room between Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore? She's been in loads of famous films. She was in G.I. Jane, she was in Charlie's Angels, she was in Ghost, she was in all sorts of things. The most famous thing he's been in is Demi Moore. This makes no <laughs> sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> This is insane, isn't it? They were married, he's been in Dude, Where's Your Car? and a couple of sitcoms. How can he be K and she be P? Now, my friend who went out with a microphone, I'd given her a big list. I, I wrote like 80 or 90 names on a list and I thought, well, that'll be fine. She'll be able to work with those. Uh, but then she went a bit off-piste. She started asking about names that no one had asked her to ask about. For example, this one. Dave Gorman. <laughs> That wasn't a very nice thing to do. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. What about Dave Gorman? I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. Dave Gorman. I don't know who that is. I do not know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone right off her lately. I liked her to begin with, I've gone off her now. Now, let me be very clear here. I do not have a huge ego that demands everyone knows who I am. I'm very comfortable living in a world in which I know most people don't know who I am. I don't have to put up with the creepy people with long lenses. It's a very happy, lovely place to be. I love where I am on this earth. But also, I don't expect to get a phone call from a producer saying, Dave, come down to the edit suite. We've got something to show you. <laughs> and then sitting me down for a 35-minute montage <laughs> of people denying my existence. <laughs> That's a weird thing to do to me. Eventually, eventually, they found one person, one person who did know who I was. Dave Gorman. Dave Gorman. I like Dave Gorman. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I, uh, she's my new favourite. Yeah. <laughs> She knows who I am, she quite likes me. It's quite nice all of a sudden, isn't it? But what letter of the alphabet <laughs> do you think she gave me? I'll tell you what. I like Dave, so yeah, we'll go for an R. <laughs> she likes me, a 
and I'm an R. I'm an R from someone who likes me. 